Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. We're on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny and we're on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Okay, so this is kind of just like a little bit of a catch-up video. Also, um, I watched a video this morning, I want to say, and uh, I thought I would give it a try if I have time, but I have been doing coffee. I did some coffee dyeing today. Wow, it was such a beautiful day. I mean, in the 80s here. So I had a wonderful day today. I'll tell you all about it here in a second. But what I did was I took out some um, dictionary pages and I just dumped them in. A, in the, this was the last minute I had um, some leftover coffee. So I dumped all these in there in the tub with the coffee you know i use a i use the uh one of the dish tubs from the dollar the dollar tree and it had just a little bit left at the bottom so i thought well, i'm just gonna dump all of these in and give it a swirl and then i just laid them outside to dry and they they dried nice um you can see some of them got a little bit more than others so yeah so this was my um use it up coffee that's what I use. I, don't you love that sound? I love it. I'm going to set them over here on the end of my desk here. And then these are just plain paper. Um, but what I did, I don't know if you can see that or not. What I did was while they were drying, I put on, on a couple of them. I decided to see what, what it was. This was a branch of lilacs. These are the leaves. So I don't even know if you can see it. It's very faint, but you can see it. And it smells really good because it was kind of baking out there. Um, this is from our um, Japanese maple. I just laid, as this was drying, I just laid the leaves on top. And then the sun kind of superimposed that. And then this, um, what is that? Is that a chigger? I think that was a chigger or something. I don't know what that... Yeah, it is. It's a chigger. Ah, get off of there. I'm going to have to toss this one. But this was underneath this one. So the leaves were on here. And then as it dried, it went through this. And it went through this one. I'm going to have to tear that out. Interesting. Stinking little... Those chiggers are something else. And then this one, um, I had these little purple flowers that came back this year. Uh, I had them in a pot and they were sitting by where I was drying this. And I thought, oh, I'm going to just pull a few off and put them on there. So I did. And then this is the stem. You can barely see that, though. Then I don't know if you can see this. It's hard to tell what you can see in the camera or not. But this is... Um, two dandelions and these are the dandelions that have already they're, they've gone to seed so this is the little fluffies and I just gently laid them there and I think they turned out cute you can't really tell what they are it looks like little lollipops or something oh my gosh there are chiggers on here I'm sorry I'm going through this really quick because I want to see if I brought them in Oh, I cannot believe it. I haven't seen a chigger in I don't even know how long. That one? No. Well, I'm not seeing any more, and I think I got those. Oh. I'm not happy about that. I hope there's none on the rest of these. Okay, so anyways, those are the, the flower ones. Thankfully, the paper is light enough that we could see it, you know. Oh, here's some more that... Oh, I hope there's no chiggers on it. These, I just... Maybe some leaves, because I, I lay them out. Uh, these, I just uh, dipped in the coffee. You can see there's so many different colors. I dipped in the coffee, and then they haven't been ironed yet. And then um, I leave them in their pile to, like, you know, I leave them in their pile. And then as they dry, I start peeling them apart to dry uh, a little separate. So they do get, oh, I had a bug on me. Wow, this is dangerous. 
today. Oh my gosh. Never had this situation. Um, but anyways, they, they dry and they get different, different looks like this one. Isn't that interesting? And this one, oh, this one, I guess I put leaves on. Yeah. I put leaves on. Does it have chiggers? <laughs> no chiggers. Oh, that is so frustrating. Here's a chigger. Oh. I'm looking to see if I have a chigger on me. That is frustrating. Okay. Then what I did, and I'm going to, I took a picture so you could see it, and I'll put it on Instagram and, and Facebook. But what I did was I took our long uh, Rubbermaid table and set it out in the sun. And then I had found at that estate sale that I went to for a dollar, this plastic tablecloth. And so I just laid it over the table and then I slid papers under the tablecloth. And then I put, I took my, um, uh, my wore out old paintbrush and I, um, then put a light coat of coffee over it again. So here's, Here's the result of that. So you can see different parts of the tablecloth, you know, yielded different designs. This was the border of the tablecloth. And boy, oh boy, it was so hot that this did not take long at all. But look at this. Can you see that? It's kind of a crosshatch where, you know, how um, plastic tablecloths uh, are breathable, but they're, they try to be as tight as possible so that, you know, um, food and drink doesn't go through it, but coffee goes through it <laughs> when you paint it on. And then I squeegee with my hand and go like this. So it gets down in there. And then I give such a pretty back to, I was very happy with these, how these came out, and it just didn't take long at all. This must have been like really close to the center because it was a really big design in the center. Same here. So I could do this all. I could do this all day, but I just I didn't have time to do it all day. <laughs> what I did today was um, I went and had lunch with my two youngest grandchildren at school i got this at a little thrift store and i thought it would be great to organize some of this ephemera we've been making that i want to kind of try to organize for my trip next week to the um to the crafting retreat um try to organize for so that i can be ready to go for my cottage shabby chic journal I think I hear Joey so I think I'm just gonna put like tags and maybe journal cards and then uh maybe back here if they'll fit we'll put um what are those pockets <laughs> but I thought what a neat little divider so this is a pocket. Yeah, is that? What's this one? That one has a pocket. This is, I think, just a journal card. Some of these I remember and then don't remember. You know, I may not use all these. I probably won't. Oh, this is this is um, still to be used. This is from the the digital is the Junk Journal Studios. All things roses. Um, so those are extras that I didn't have it decorated. Fun. Oh gosh. Okay. And then more tags. Pocket. Oh, these were fun to make. That was our a retro Roxy Wednesday. This is a pocket. Nope. Oh, oh, this is another. I think this was another retro Roxy Wednesday. That's kind of hard to say, <laughs> but it is kind of. It's um. 
Hi, Joey. Just got homies running to take a shower. Where would I put that? That's more like I'm going to I'm going to put it back here. No, I'll put it right in front of the cards. That's one that's going to go over, you know, for the window. It kind of goes over the page, but then you have a little peekaboo behind it like that. This is <clears throat> jelly print. I was trying to think, how did I do that? Jelly printed onto a page in a magazine. So that's just a, that's just going to be a page. So I'll leave that out. And this is also a page. Remember when we did that? Well, we did this one. And then I did that one. That other one. So that's going to go in. These weird pages are going to go in, I think. What is this? These are, oh yes, we did little um, fabric flip, slow stitch with um, these fun little ditties. I like them. I can't remember if somebody showed me that or if I just decided to do it. So that's going to go in here. We've got a couple of them. It's going to go great in this journal. Oh, here's some more pages. This is one with wax that we did. Another couple of wax ones. Oh, all of my wax ones. So I'll take them. Of course, they're not all going to go in. They won't all go in that journal. This one I don't think I'll need. I'll put that there. This is just fun. <laughs> it's just a page. Oh, here in... These are just some other pages, uh, some stationery that I found. I thought would be kind of neat in the in the um, journal. I'm kind of wondering if this is going to be more than a a one signature. And then these wonderful envelopes, you know, and you could just put it in, like like let's say this is your signature here. You could just put it in like that and leave this. And then um, as you journal, if you needed to, you could attach something there and add a page. Or you could oops, take your other one and connect, connect the two. I think we've done this before. We're just kind of poke this down in here. And then that's just, that just goes in your signature like that. So that's kind of fun. And you could, if you didn't want this showing here, you could also poke it down in there too. So I'll leave that. And then I, I have this I wanted to put in. We'll see what happens there. Uh, what is this? Oh, good. That's a... Well, it's a journal card slash pocket. What is this? Journal card. Oh, boy. I need to make some pockets. These are little journal things. And um, these are some, some of my <laughs> mushroom. These are some Rolodex that I had made. And then I just made a copy of them so I could use it again. So those will be like little journal tuck cards too. So I'll put that here too. And this is a journal card. And I'm going to put this as a journal card too. Even though it has a pocket. Which is still kind of fun. Alright. <clears throat> and these are extra. So I got all kinds of stuff in here. Look at that. <laughs> so these are extra. So I'm going to take them in case we decide to do something with that. So those are... Um, tags, journal tags, journal tags, yeah. This is a little ephemera holder. It's fun. A little secret keeper. So that's different than actually because I'm, I will probably just tuck it in. Uh, so I'm going to put that at the back of the tucks here. Or the journal cards. Um, because I'm not going to glue it down. Oh, and look at these. Aren't these sweet? 
Isn't that cute? That's when we did napkins. That's fun. I'll put those back here with the with the cards or with the um pockets. Can't even think. Here's some lar here's a larger one. I'll put it back there too. I don't know which size I'll use. What you know, whatever I'll need. Um, these are those little um kind of like a coin envelope that we made. And what we did was we made it out of taking that acetate. When you take off a sticker and you have that acetate, we used it and glued it back down here. So we'll take those. Probably don't need that one. I think I'm just going to take this one. And that one I'm going to call a another kind of a tuck thing. So I'll put that back here too. Okay. Um, this is, did we do that together? Uh, paint chip. And then I just put a couple of vellum stickers on it. So let's put that back here. And here is an, another couple of tags. Put those here. What else is in here? Oh, remember these? This was fun. That's going back there. A uh, little bird. I think I'll leave him out for now. Oh, here's some more pages I, I thought I would put in. Um, these are full page to, um, that we did. I love these. So those will probably go in. This one goes like this. I might do that with that one too so it's on the flip side okay oh and then I have some more little stationary things here I kind of think I could be wrong but these remind me of I think I got these at my mom's place they remind me of stationery that my sister-in-law had gotten my mom for Christmas one year. So, thank you, Dawn. Okay, the rest of that is groovy journal stuff, and I've already given that to my friend. So, um, I forgot about it. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, so now I'm going to put the rest of this, I'm gonna take the rest of this out, and... Oh, this goes up here. I can put that away. And I'm going to put this stuff where it goes because I have another groovy thing to put that in. And then I guess I can just use this little bucket here, this little basket, to put pages in. Let's see. Yeah. That fits perfect. And I think before I forget... I think I'm going to take a couple of these with me to put in this journal. I love the ones like this that were on the border. They feel really good. And I this time I put a little bit of vanilla in the mix. My friend Sue and I were talking about vanilla. <laughs> find another one it's that one I think this one I'm gonna fold in like that when you dry it with something on top of it like a tablecloth like this one was or um, sometimes I've done um, placemats and things like that they come out a lot flatter of course than when you just let them air dry I think I might do a third one just in case um, I make this like a three signature. I don't know if it's going to, I don't know if my cover is going to be big enough for three signatures though.
And uh, I haven't shown you the cover again because I haven't really made much progress. <laughs> I've been slow stitching um, just the pieces down, but I haven't added anything. So, okay. So, yay. Um, I feel somewhat good about it. I feel like I definitely need more um, pockets and stuff. Because I have tons to put in. Or not tons, but plenty, you know, some to put in, but not to, no pockets. Okay, let's see. Where can I put this? Let's put this over here. Hope it doesn't tumble. And let's see if we can get a couple of shabby dabby doodah things done. And, uh, oops, I just put that right on top of what I wanted to do. Okay, she made envelopes. Very, very simple envelopes. So I just got out this, well, it was laying over here on my desk, um, by, uh, this is the Big Bundle Shabby Chic Floral 350 Pieces Plus, Melina 1202 is her on, on uh, Etsy. So I'm just going to grab a few of these out. I'll do that blue one in case we use that, use some blue and take this one too. I'm going to take out four and we'll see if we get them done. They look easy enough. Okay. So what she did, and it looks like you could mass make fairly easy. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So try to get those corners nice and crisp. And then what she did was she just went to make um, a square. Uh, let me get... Huh. What did I do with... Um, oh, here they are. So I'm just going to put that down and I'm not going to crease that. I'm just going to hold that to, to cut and hopefully I can... Hopefully my hands will cut through this okay. Somewhat straight. You could do it on the, you know, on your, um, your cutter too, but I don't know if you need to crease it or not. So she's along the lines of me. I don't really measure a whole lot. So those will be fun to save, do something with. So these are a little bit different. Let me grab one more so we can compare. These are a little bit different than making an envelope uh, that is, ooh, isn't this pretty? You know how we've, we've made envelopes like this. And then we just fold in like that. Fold in like that. And then we fold down like that. We just kind of put that that in our journal, um, which is nice. It's still pretty, isn't it? Put a, like a little notch there. But what she does is she takes this square. What does she do? Okay, first. She looks at this point. I have to try to remember. Oh, yeah, I still have this. It's fading. I don't know how many more days I can take it. but um, And then she goes up a little ways. So you could just kind of eyeball or you could kind of, you know, put something down. Or uh, she had one of the Tim Holtz mats that have your scoring um, lines on it and so yeah so that also makes it nice and nice and easy to do um, and then pull in the sides enough to where you at least have some to glue see how I have it over like about I don't know half an inch here you could make it any size so if you wanted to bring it in even more you could but um, I'm just going to make them this this size so I'm just going to bring it over about quarter of an inch <clears throat> probably should have practiced <laughs> and then maybe that's more of a half an inch 
and then about a half an inch will run this side. So I think the best thing to do is to try to even the bottom up. Okay. And then you would fold, you would fold this down. I do, am I even doing this right? Okay. All right, then you would fold that down. Okay, then open it up and cut out your little corners that are that are gonna be poking over. I kind of feel like where's my where's the bottom? I think that's the bottom. Okay, I feel like I need to fold these in more. What did I just do? I think I'm I think I'm confusing myself. Okay, yeah, here's the bottom. Okay. Uh I think I need to fold these in more because um for some reason I'm not catching that up there. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna fold it over about an inch, I think. Ish. Okay. And then I'm gonna fold this down. There we go. Much better. Okay, now I'm going to cut out the little triangle here. And kind of like what we do with other things, we're just going to give it a barely a little angle to eliminate a lot of that bulk. I got to get a different pair of scissors. That's not going to work. Okay. Too bulky. Well, um, I'm not mad. I didn't do it in a mass make because in a mass make you would do every, you know, you would do every thing. Oh my goodness. What is going on with me today? You would do everything the same. So then you would fold everything at one time. Then you would cut it one time. So I haven't done that. I think I'm just trying to get through making this one. I just, this is not happening the way it did for her. So I don't know. I feel like I'm not quite doing it right. But I'm determined. I am determined. Okay. Okay. Now, she left this point here, and she rounded it. Um, I think I would like to uh, turn it under. Personally, I think I like it like that, and I almost feel like I'm going to like it more like this. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like it better that way. And then this will come over like that. But that's crooked. Didn't follow that point very well. Okay. Still a little crooked. Or off center, I guess. But it's okay. I'm going with it. I'm going to go with it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit here. Uh oh. And. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Okay. So I wanted to. So as I'm gluing, I'm going to tell you, I went to have lunch, take lunch to my. Uh, to the two youngest grandchildren. Oh my gosh, you guys. I, I It just fills my soul so much when I'm with them. And especially when they're in their own little element like that, you know. And then mm, I'm just going to go here too. I just, I can't get enough of them. 
And so we talked about school and what they're doing. And my youngest one is doing, um, he was showing me math and, and how they multiply, which is completely different than how, uh, I, I mean, the way that they are teaching them. I don't know if you guys have seen this where they draw like a box and anyway so that's how they're learning to multiply so I've got to figure this out I got to figure this next one out but that's basically it only better <laughs> I'll link her video <laughs> okay all right let's try this again um all right okay she folded it up Maybe I folded it too far. So let's go like that. Okay. And she folded these over to where you would have enough room to glue them. Okay. We're doing it, I think. Enough room to glue. Okay. <clears throat> what was that? And then she folded this down. Interesting, because it still keeps coming out to my view a little crooked. Okay. All right, let's, let's get these corners cut and see what happens. Um, so let's see, um, so the little, my youngest grandson, he was going to go into math or reading where they, what's it called when you diagram a sentence? I can't remember. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember what it was called, but when I was a kid, I loved it. He doesn't share the same love for it as I do. <laughs> and he said it, it's, it's part of their reading class. Um, when I was a kid, it was part of our English class. So I think it kind of all crosses over. Words, you know. Um, then my granddaughter was going to do this class that was interesting I I don't know what the name of it was but it had a little bit of reading and math it was like um it was interesting because she would tell me you, you have it was almost like a, a word a math word problem do you remember those and um is that gonna work I think that might work looks better anyways and let's let's uh, I, I think I like it folded over but let's see what it looks like rounded and then if not we'll fold it over anyways she was going to this class and what Basically, it's taking a word or a sentence that has numbers in it and breaking it down. I still don't really care for that, so I think I am going to fold it over. Let's see what happens. I think I like that better. And I think I like it better like this, too. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think you like it better with the bottom over the top or the sides over the top. I don't have an envelope handy to see, which is, you know, the normal. I don't know. Do I have one handy? I don't see one. Oops. Okay, how are we doing on time? I can't even believe it. So we've got two done. And um, yeah, I'm happy about it. Okay, so we're going to do this. So these are 
fair they go really quickly i want to say that they're easy they are easy it's just um you know me i uh take me a while to figure it out okay now let's see i didn't go all the way up because i i didn't see where it ended here let's tuck it back here real quick and do it I think these will be so pretty in a journal um, or like put some extra ephemera in and then give it with your journal. Now you could round that off, but I like those flowers, so I don't want to. <laughs> okay. That's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, my fold is off. I'm going to try to be a little bit more precise. <clears throat> I don't have one of those snazzy things. I've looked at them. I just have never, you know, bought one. I do like that I didn't go up as high on that one. I've never bought one. Um, maybe that'll be my next splurge. So those are even. Let's see, what, what would happen if we made it just a little bit smaller? Let me make a smaller one. We'll go in a little bit further. Try to make it the same on both sides. Something isn't just, let me just see, what do I have here? One and a quarter. One and almost a quarter. I'm just trying to see where, where am I getting so off up here? Somehow I'm getting off. Okay. Let's cut out the corners. This one, I might be able to use this. It's a little bit bigger. She also mentioned, you know, some people have like a an envelope template. I don't really know how those work. I have a feeling I have one. I think it came with something I bought on, on uh, Marketplace. And, um, I well, it came with, if I have it, it came with my um, score, scoreboard, scoring board. <laughs> and, um, but it just looked like it was more complicated than what it was worth. So I don't know. I guess if you were making a bunch of these, like maybe for a tea or a shower or something, you know, maybe a bridal shower, you would probably want them to be more, a little bit more exact than what I'm doing. Uh, where is the bottom? Where is the bottom? I think this is the bottom. Okay. And these will go in like that. Okay, now see how, because I made it so much smaller, these are overlapping quite a bit. You could cut them down, but I think I like it like that. And I think this one might look nice. Round it off. Kind of give it a little chew there. Probably could have been um, distressing. I'm going to distress this one since it's so light. Okay. 
And I'm going to also do this guy back down here. You guys, it's so sweet at the school. Um, okay, so my two youngest are in third and fifth grade. And the my fifth grade granddaughter is on a leadership team at the school and today was uh, kindergarten registration for the kids coming into the to the school year next year oh my gosh you guys they're so tiny <laughs> they're so tiny and she was telling me that one of her one of her friends that uh, is also on this team they escort these so the parents are in the gymnasium and then the leadership team these fifth graders escort the children the littles down to the library so they can do little they can play and all that stuff while the parents are having their little meeting and they can kind of get acquainted with the school and all of that well she said that by the time they got down to i'm, I'm skipping across there because i don't think it's long enough by the time they got down to the library, one of the little little guys that was there for kindergarten registration started crying. He was just either overwhelmed or missed, you know, his folks or or something. I mean, it's different, especially you know if your children are getting ready to go to public school and they or any school and they haven't been to maybe a daycare situation and this is their first time away from home or away from mom and dad oh boy you know and you just want to scoop those little those littles up and hug on them it's hard to watch your kids grow up my granddaughter drove to school today it was quite the chatter uh, both of my grandchildren told me about it and then my daughter stopped by to pick us some pick some stuff up on her way home from work. She stopped by the house here, and um, she told me about it. So it's a big, you know, it's a big topic. I'm excited for her. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's distressed, and that's what it looks like when it's not. I don't know which I don't know which size I like better. I think I like the elongated one better. Let's let's try another one. Let's try another one. Ugh. Try to be as I mean you can do it fairly fast if you're not super worried about being, you know, exactly straight. Um and I guess one good thing about having this floral like this is that it de definitely hides, you know, some of some mistakes. Or I don't want to, I don't necessarily mean mistakes, but hide like, um, you know, when you don't get it exactly straight. So that needs to come in a little bit. Okay. That's pretty too, isn't it? I'm looking forward to decorating these and filling them. I think these little scissors are too small for the trick and the other ones are too big and I just haven't taken the time to stop and get the middle pair
I'm getting the hankering of um, planting flowers. I usually try so hard to wait until after Mother's Day to avoid any late frosts and and all of that. But, you know, seeing <clears throat> all my buddies on Facebook planting theirs and um, already having little, you know, seedlings, I'm, I'm itchy about it. want to get some plants done and the ones that uh have come back already are so pretty oh look what i did i folded that one down oh boy Did I, did I cut those? Yeah. I think we're going to get four done. This one. Anyways, I'll link her video. <laughs> um, it's a little bit more of a tutorial than mine is for sure. Oof, look how crooked that is. Not sure what to do about that. I might have to put some washi or something. That's pretty. And crooked. There. I like it. I like them a lot. I think they're super pretty. So we got four done. And we, uh, you know, we looked at our paper. And we sorted ephemera for my journal to take it to craft retreat and I have so much more to make I'm I'm plus I need to get the I need to get the cover made before I can do anything else I need to hurry and get that done I don't know why I'm dragging my feet I should have been working on that okay look we did got four of them done that's exciting. And this paper turned out really pretty. And then I think these, you know how, um, you know, you make those little teeny ones. They go like this. I can do it real quick. I don't even know. Make those cute little ones and then you can... Probably shouldn't have folded that yet. And then you can um, put those on the edge of a page. How sweet. Cute. Okay, well thanks everybody for hanging out with me and um, keeping me company while I try this from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. And um, I just want to remind you, we pray blessings over you, and we want you to know that you're so loved. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!